This is the Rackmate T1. It's one of these little 10 inch racks that's really starting to catch on. This here in the middle actually is an LCD. That's a 2U 10 inch rack mountable display. It's made by DeskPy, the same people that made the T1 and the T0 and the TT and the T2. They make a bunch of accessories for these 10 inch racks and the 10 inch racks themselves. This is the 7.84 inch LCD by DeskPy. 1280 by 400, 2U size, so it fits perfectly in, in this type of rack and situation. It's got a USB-C on the back and an HDMI port in, and it's full touchscreen. So through that USB-C connection, it will not only get power, but it will also get the touch capabilities. But this, I've had this for like a year and a half. Why am I not using this one, but I'm using that one? We'll get into that here in a minute, where realistically this, this has its place, I think. I don't know, you decide. So let's back up to the spring of 2023. I picked this up on Amazon for, at the time it was only like 40 or 50 bucks. Super dusty by the way. Nowadays, this same type of display, I went back and looked at the same listing and it's gone. They, they don't have this one for sale anymore, but more like it that are this seven inch by, you know, three or four inch type of super thin or long displays, they're going for a hundred bucks or more. My intention with this was to be able to quickly and easily provide stats for my server or my network within my server case, kind of sitting up against it like that. Really cool idea. Never really put it into production because many reasons. When I started getting into these 10 inch racks though, I realized I could 3D print all kinds of things for it. I 3D printed a bezel for this exact display. Just kind of drops in here like this and it's really just pressure fit into place like that. It fits and it pretty much does the same thing, but it doesn't. This really gained traction in the DIY and home lab space over the last couple of months because it's a quick and easy solution. You can do something like this. It's kind of drawn out. It's really clunky. This LCD has something that this one doesn't. Can you guess what it is? It's on the back. This can hold a Raspberry Pi, where this one, it can't. Not the end of the world. In fact, this one currently I've got set up, hooked up to a Raspberry Pi 5 that's mounted on the front of the rack, and it's getting its power, its touch, and its video output all from that one device. So how am I using it? Currently, I have this set up in the net data plan or the net data connection with Proxmox. Super simple to set up. Links to my GitHub are down below to show how I set this up with a Raspberry Pi to connect to the Proxmox server to display things like CPU usage, RAM, network usage, all in a single glance in like dials and gauges. So it's pretty easy to see at a glance how much any resources are being used on the server at any given time. There's endless possibilities of the different use cases that are out there for this. I was worried that the resolution would be off. It automatically adjusted to the resolution of this smaller screen as I was setting it up on a larger, you know, 1080 monitor. Some of the best things about this is it's plug and play. If you've got an HDMI output from any device, you can plug straight into it. Some devices work better with it. Like when I had Windows plugged into this, it was clunky. It has native touchscreen on it, just again, straight out of the box. So no like weird drivers or anything to set up. It's all done on the device itself. It does only have a single HDMI input, which isn't the end of the world. Realistically, if it's gonna sit in your rack, it's probably gonna have one use case. Would it be cool to have a second input that maybe you click a button on the side or on the front bezel or something that could let you jump back and forth between the two inputs? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe you've got one for a dashboard that's everything set up and another one for a security camera system. The viewing angles on this are surprisingly good as well. So I'm kind of looking at it like way off center here and it's just as bright as it is if I'm looking at it dead on. I think an opportunity that DeskPy missed on this, a super simple mounting solution for a Raspberry Pi. DeskPy could have very easily put some threaded ports where you can add some standoffs and then mount a Raspberry Pi directly on the back of the LCD. Similar to what I've got going on here with this bad boy, it's made to mount a Raspberry Pi on the back of it. While I was getting into 3D printing for this, I went ahead and 3D printed a drawer 
to go in here. So in here, I've got all the important stuff. Well, I mean, it's a good place to keep the important stuff. I've only got a few things in here now. What do I have? I've got a dummy plug basically for HDMI. I've got my Ventoy USB drive in here so I can install different operating systems. And of course, the most important thing is snacks. Great place to just store your snacks for later. If you're interested in the LCD from DeskPi, again, link will be in the description down below. What would you use this for in your network rack, in your little 10 inch rack?